It's uh, 7.02, we're going to call the meeting to order. I want to thank SCTV for uh, filming this. And the first order on the agenda is the seating of alternates, which we've just done. Um, so it's Bob for Mike? Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, discussion item. Number 3A, we've all been sent and have in our packet a meeting schedule for 2014. Are there any comments or suggestions to change, or is, uh, I think it's, I think usually we, uh, we have a motion to approve the schedule. Mm -hmm. Does anyone have any, let, let's have a motion, uh, someone would like to move and second and then we'll discuss. Yeah, I'd like to move that we approve the proposed regular meeting dates for the year 2014 as indicated on the handout. Have a second. second? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, discussion? Any comment? I looked at each of these and uh, they're all the second Tuesday and the fourth Tuesday of the month yeah. and they don't uh, coincide with any holidays. Um, I would, yeah, uh, I think it's okay. Yeah, and, and, and we still have the flexibility of either canceling a meeting if there's nothing going on or having a special meeting if there's something. So, all right. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Very good. Um, the second item is the Route 10 uh, light post banner. Uh, we, we received in our packet a, a letter from um, Mary Glass, uh, to Mary Glassman dated October 7th from Jerry Toner and a draft copy of uh, light post banner display policy. Um, I was at a Governor Affairs, Chamber of Governor Affairs Committee meeting this morning when Jerry Tona was there, as well as Hiram, and uh, this was, there were a number of options discussed. I don't think, um, I guess we should discuss, since you've read it, any thoughts you have. I mean, it's first thing in these regulations, we have to make sure we're only talking in these regs about the light bulb pan banners, not the ones across Route 10 or Iron Horse. Um, and the issue for the town is uh, scheduling uh, and cost of putting them up and taking them down. And at the meeting this morning, uh, there was talk about, uh, you know, obviously in this memorandum there's a, there's a fee involved for people who want to put them up and down. At the chamber discussion, we're saying that uh, as long as there are no logos and it's not advertising, uh, maybe the time banners could be up would be shortened to just 90 days. Um, and uh, in any 501c3 um, uh, should be allowed uh, probably to use them. And, and I think it's going to go back to the selectmen to to really um, see, see if approval uh, under, under this draft. And, and there was not a lot of comment about other than allowing them to continue. And the other big comment made this morning was if the North Village, which is a new organization, wants to do polls in the North End, um, and you know, they, they can be paid for, that this shouldn't only be restricted to downtown. So if they want to promote uh, an event going on up there or to identify and brand that part of town, uh, uh, assuming they're paid for, that they, you know, that might be an opportunity. And, uh, but there were no, um, uh, this morning, there were no uh, fast conclusions and, and I think Jerry is going to digest it and probably get back to the selectmen and I think get back to us. Hiram may have more comments. Hiram took notes, but since he's not here, unless we have comments uh, for the record, uh, and I don't think we're going to make a final decision tonight, but I'd like, if anyone has any pros and cons or, or things to add, we should hear them. I got a call. Um, one, you know, just going by the bullet points that was provided by, by Hiram's uh, memorandum to us, or actually, uh, first like me, Mary Glassman's. Uh, should banners be displayed 12 months a year? I don't see any reason why not. 
Um, that's that's one of the things I, I think, you know, once they're there and people kind of get used to them, I think that would be fine. Uh, the charge, I think that's, you know, the town should decide whether they're going to charge or not to put them up. I can certainly understand, you know, charging because a lot of time might be uh, If I could interrupt if not at that point, I when that came up this morning, I asked if, if you have a 501c3 volunteer organization that's strapped for money, could they hang their own banners and avoid the $250? Mm -hmm. And I was told, well, there might be a liability issue there. Absolutely. And I said, well, what about the liability issue for hanging banners <laughs> over Route 10 at 6 in the morning when it's dark? And, but anyway, so, yeah. I, so I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think there's some question around that. Uh, advertising, <clears throat> that, that's, kind of a, that's kind of a broad picture. I mean, I know some of the banners, we'll just use the Iron Horse because that was used. You know, we did that this summer. Yeah. Some of them were uh, just words for the names of the company that sponsored the banners, and some used the logos. Um, I assume uh, that it was the uh, larger donated yeah, they, that, they, that they paid for the logo. Exactly. Right. So they got the logo, so, which is uh, quite recognizable for some of the companies that did. And the words were okay. I think they were fine. I think if it's tasteful, some level of advertising, uh, I mean, that's really kind of why you're there and why people want to uh, be there is to, to promote their businesses. So I, I, think that's, I think that needs to be broadened and discussed a little bit further, quite frankly. Not just advertising, but, uh, you know, if we're promoting an event, putting the company name underneath the supporting it, whether it be a, a small tasteful logo or the written words, uh, I think is would be, you know, similar to using the Iron Horse. Um, because the difference between Iron Horse and Route 10 is the state right, the has state. to approve everything right. and they don't want logos on, they don't on want Route logos. 10. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but down, Understandably. You know, but, but since the mm -hmm. town is in control with Iron Horse, I think they, they may have to have separate policies, you know, and the insurance thing requirements are different, uh, probably, and um, so I'm, I'm not so sure that they shouldn't be treated separately. Right. You know, I, and definitely I think the policy should apply to, you know, Village North, and uh, if we talk, puts together something, and obviously Center Town, Iron Horse, I think they should all be, I mean, you know, who knows, if we do a West Simsbury Village or Terrafield Village, they they may want to start doing this too. So it should be town wide. It should be, I think that. So it should, should be consistent. You, um, which, which part, Bob? I'm looking at um, you know bullet number four here for the policy of display. I think it should be consistent across the town, no matter what village you're in. The the, number the, four? the draft the draft policy. I'm not looking at the draft policy. I'm right, looking at the memorandum for today. I, I know about the draft policy. You mean D? Of course, if you read the yeah. title of what we're discussing, the yeah. memo says Route 10 Light Post Banner Policy. Right. But it does mention in the text Iron Horse. Right. So. But I, I, think it should, uh, I think it should be part of everything for, you know, all of the potential districts where this policy could come into, uh, come into play. Because it, it, I think this is going to become popular. Across town, if you look at like north, they decide they want to take and start banners up there. Can anyone explain the reasoning to me why each time a banner goes up on Route 10, even though we have banners on Route 10 now that are displayed on the light post that aren't moving, that are of a certain size, why isn't it one time it's been approved by the DOT? Do we have to approve every banner that goes up? What does the content have to do with anything as far as uh, the requirement to get their approval? Right. I, that, that, what that does that have to do with anything? Once we have an approval that those banners are legal and not inside a, uh, a line of sight, something like that, why do we have to get approval all the time from the state? Right. I, I think that's and a so, question that, uh, of course, Ritzowski retires the end of the month, but maybe we ask Hiram that to find out right. exactly where the history. And, and of course, for the for the applicant, it's a real it's a lot of work to put to get you know send the stuff to the state. It's not an easy thing. To no, we can't get an answer on a a traffic pattern for Big Y, right? 
and we're asking them to give us permission every time we want to change these things every two months, there yes. should be some kind of like way time. to approach them to get a one-time approval that these are within the limits because the banners are not going to change. Right. The banners are what? All of 15 all, well, inches is, or 18 certain... inches wide and 3 feet tall and they're 10 feet off the road. Right. They've been approved once. There's not, it's not like we have variable sizes here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But you're talking about the pole banners versus over the highway. Right. Yeah. So no, I'm not talking about yeah. over the road. That's yeah. something entirely the different. The same but principle applies over the road. And though. so then we can use one consistent policy. Absolutely. Because there's the center of Terrafield doesn't have a state road that's going through it, so they have no reason to have juris I mean state involvement there. Well, let's say go on Elm Street, which is 315. But, but I think what it is, Mark, probably is it's on state, there are, the polls are on state property, right. state right away, and they probably have a statewide policy. Oh, no doubt. That's that, yeah. why this is written whether it, it is. And it would probably be an act of Congress to change. But anyway, we should ask. Yeah, we should ask. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Any other comments? I think what we should do is... Obviously, Hiram will read our comments and then maybe put this on the agenda for the next meeting and see if we can uh, get get further. Because I think the selectmen, at some point, want to make you know finalize this stuff. But Jerry Toner will have after this morning's meeting probably have comments as well. I agree. Anything else? <clears throat> um, right now, the eligible organizations are the uh, not for profits. Right. Um, is there uh, history behind that, or uh, uh, well, I think state regulations or anything? I, I wrote in my notes this morning. You know, five hundred one c threes, schools, uh, teams. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if everything like when I hang hockey banners or people put. It, and I I always relate to across the road, but this is really the same thing. If Westminster is having their four hundredth anniversary. I don't know what they're, whether they're a 501c3 or what they are there, but any school, or if St. Albans Church was an example that was brought up, they, they, should they be able to do their thing? Well, it's, to me, these are all economic development issues. They're bringing people in to celebrate what's good about Centauri, and I don't think we should, you know, we, we don't want uh, uh, Target to put an ad for a Sunday sale. That's, you know, the idea is to try and Make it not commercial, but okay. So that that that's the delineation. It's not yeah. intended to be commercial advertised. Right. right, right. But but like the example I used this morning is I use as the when the hockey tournament with you know those big hockey tournaments. If they want to have a, they could do a neat banner post announcing that because all these teams are coming from all across the country. The bicycle thing, you know. So that that's what I think the intent is. Well, those would be under nonprofits anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All things considered, yeah. um, that's where your delineation from commercial, yeah. nonprofits. Sure. The thing is, is you know, then you get into like the ends in Bigford anniversary and that type of thing. And that's not, and that, but but it's a big deal for Simsbury. Yeah. You know, it's a big deal that Simsbury is part of Simsbury. Yeah. You know their history, and, and just to, to say, well, it's commercial, we can't put it up. Yep. I don't know. You know, it's that's a good example. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. But I mean, but is it celebrating, like you said, like target an ad, or is it something that celebrates a long-term, you know, company in Simsbury? That recognition. Recognition. Exactly right. Well, if it's the town sponsoring it, it falls under the second right. definition. Like the town sponsors, you know, the first night, or you mm -hmm. know, I mean, that's sure. Well, that would be a way around it then. That Ensign Bigford would come to the town exactly. and ask them to sponsor this in the public interest. Right. Mm -hmm. And so then the town would be the entity. Correct. Or achieving chamber. that goal. Means and there's where our gatekeeper would be. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. So if it's something significant enough for the town to recognize, the town would find Milestones. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. All right, let's um, let's have any other comments. We'll move on and we'll uh, put this on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Um, communications and administrative business. 
Seeing none. Unless, uh, Since we have no representative here. Huh? Since we have no representative, can you have yeah. any questions? Yeah. We'll probably... Uh, uh, point okay. five, election of officers. Uh, we're just, as I understand it, supposed to note at the last meeting <coughs> we said that we'll note that this is the first notice of, of elections coming up and that, and that two notices are required, so that will be discussed at the next meeting. I don't right. know if there's anything else to add to that. Right. So if this has to be on the agenda. Right. Twice, and yeah. it'll give us the opportunity, if we're so inclined, to uh, consider an election the next, next meeting. meeting. Yeah. Well, that next meeting falls into Thanksgiving category. Yes. Correct. And we talked about how several of us will not be in town during that meeting. Yeah. Um, which creates a little bit of a problem, I believe, because at, after that meeting, when does the new... December, Monday, December 2nd. Yeah. Is the new members will be included. So our I think it's one on the fifth. Correct. Yeah. So uh, fifth no, or second. 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 The second. Second. Yeah. Okay. Our if we're going to rearrange uh, the leadership, we should probably do it before that meeting. Even though it creates a problem with our next scheduled meeting, which means we might have to go into an executive meeting. To special. get this behind us, a special meeting special to get this meeting. behind us Next yeah. before the new um, participants are sworn in. Correct. I think. I think well, why don't we do this? Why don't we? We'd have to notice it, but it would be no different. I mean, I believe the, uh, the notice special meeting is 24 hours uh, <coughs> notice. I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, and at least 24, or 48, or a week. Yeah. But I mean, the point is, is that we choose or cons should consider choosing a date now while we're in session. To uh, um, approach the yeah, powers yeah, that be, I feel we schedules. should run this by Mike and Hiram. But I mean, it's it's fine with me. Whatever. Well, one of one of the other uh, possibilities was that uh, commissioners could call in as long as um, you know. As long as you can hear the, the, the yeah, you can call in as long as each person can hear the other. Right. Well, wasn't Hiram going to check that out with the town attorney? to see if that was going yeah, to be uh, uh, legal, um, you know, uh, legal to meet that way, um, teleconferencing. Right. I think we need to, we need to clarify that, but in the long run, I think we should think about a special meeting next week. So what, what I That might be, uh, I mean, um, who normally has it on the off Tuesdays, that's first and third Tuesdays. Is it the zoning board who has? Yeah, um, zoning meets on Monday. On Monday. Yeah. Conservation meets next Tuesday. Isn't that right, John? Okay. Mm -hmm. Who meets next Tuesday? 7.30. Conservation. Conservation. Conservation has it at 7.30. 7.30. Well, we could meet earlier. Um, After finance, but you could use the another room for yeah, the bedroom or something. I mean, zoning meets at uh, 7 o'clock on a Monday in this room, right? That sounds right. I mean, we could zoning or uh, selectman. Selectman. Okay, this but on alternative Mondays is when the, oh, yeah. when the zoning meets. So is selectman this coming week or is it zoning? Well, I would assume last zoning met last night. Then it's the same schedule as we are, but they're on Mondays. Yeah, yeah. Second. But why don't we do this? Why don't we? Uh, I'll just check with. Uh, Mike can have them tomorrow, and there you go. we'll get email people. That right. way, and let them down. schedule accordingly. I, I feel more comfortable week. if Mike is involved. Right. Is, you know, it's it's his thing. So I think I think I'll general just, consensus is that we do have a special meeting and take care of business. That may be the easier way, way than to do the telecommunications yeah. if we specially yeah. don't have. And that way, he could do communications, administrative business, and you know, <clears> take <throat> half hour or whatever. Right. Yeah. And the election requires. Uh, regular members to vote. Correct. They well, can't regular members and not alternates? Correct. The commission shall elect a chairman and a, oh, I'm sorry, the chairman and the secretary from its regular members to serve at the pleasure of the commission. Okay. The affirmative so, vote of at least four members shall be required to elect a chairman and a secretary. Right. And that doesn't mean that we can't appoint alternates 
to that vote. Right. It's just that the only ones that can be considered for those two positions are full-time members. Correct. Okay. So you need four members? Um, yeah, we'll need four members to vote. Well, so in an alternate can be... But the alternates, as long as we have six members. Right. Um, but alternates can vote, people being... Um, uh, being nominated. Or nominated or can also vote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to have four affirmative votes to um, pass. How many do you need, do you need for the quorum? Five? Six. Five. We five. have a quorum right now. So why would we have five members? Right. Actually, quorum is four. So why would we do it now? Okay. Well, because no, we don't can't qualify so we a second as far as the timetable is concerned. From the timetable. Gotcha. Thank you. We have to maintain a, what? Yes. Two notices. Two, Two notices. notices. Yep. Yep. This, this is, is the, the second, second one. one. First notice. This is the first one. The next meeting will be the second, whether it's a special meeting or the regularly scheduled one. Okay. So Mike is in town. He just one of his employees is getting an award tonight. That's right. why he's on here. So I'll just That's call Mike, him and call Mike tomorrow, I'll fill him in, let he and Harm discuss it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Schedule yes. a meeting. That is not inside of our our Thanksgiving holiday. Right. Yeah. Yep. But before the uh, new members. Right. And the old members have to leave. Okay. Um, item six: approval of minutes of the October twenty-second meeting. Um, the um, on page one, any uh, changes? I just had a, a question on line twenty-seven. Um, the minutes state that the town engineer represented the town at Krog sessions on the plan update. W was that correct or, or was it Hiram? I, I don't remember that being discussed. Uh, I think Ritzerowski uh, was the representative. That's what I understand. Yeah, okay, good. good. Yep. Good. Remember that. Okay. Uh, page two. I had on line 70, I think it should say the Simsbury Chamber of Commerce instead of just Chamber, line 70. Agreed. Anything else on page 2? Page 3. Um, lines uh, 104 through 119. I don't remember that being discussed in our meeting. Genesis, is that this possible? This is part of an update. Yes. Myron, Tyron just started talking about a few of the things that to update you all on. That's part of Hiram's right comments. Correct. Yeah. Okay. I'm not close to identify people anymore. So. Yep, right. <laughs> okay. Any other comments? Um, None. Can we uh, have a motion? Motion to accept the minutes. Second? Uh, Second. Right. October 22nd. Okay. Uh, as amended. As amended. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Passed. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Jump right in on second. That. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Adjourn at uh, seven twenty five minutes. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.